Israeli prog metal, a video album, and a live EP. All of this and more on the Progcast Friday Top 5. Good morning, Prague fans. It is Friday, October 30th, and you are watching the Progcast Friday Top 5. Every Friday, a lot of new music drops. We sift through all of that stuff, pick out five new releases, and tell you about them on this show. So grab your smartphone, head over to Bandcamp, Spotify, or wherever you listen to music, and check out these five new releases. All right, to kick things off, last weekend was the first edition of the Prague Spaces online festival. This was two nights of great music, including bands like Rendezvous Point, Abraham Sriracha, Marathon, and our first pick of the week, the UK's modern prog metal band ELO premiered their their live EP, In Stasis, which includes some previously unreleased material as well as some classics from their first album, Union. Uh, This was a great performance. I think you can still see it on on YouTube. Uh, And you can also check out the EP now on all the streamers. Let's go retro for a moment and crank up the psychedelic, Baroque-inspired themes of the new Ring van Mobius album, The Third Majesty. The Norwegian outfit described their music as progressive rock straight from 1971, but made today. And that fits. The Norwegians have been keeping it real lately with the retro prog, and I'm digging it. Okay, back to 2020, Israeli symphonic prog metal band Scardust is releasing their new album, Strangers. The album is sick, combining some high wire string mastery, lots of bass tappery from a bass friends out there, and a killer performance from vocalist Noah Grumman. Keeping in the modern prog metal vein, Houston, Texas's guitar and drum duo Framing Skeletons are dropping their new album, Osmium, today. It's techy, riffy, and has some very cool drum and guitar entanglements topped off with some clean and growly vocals. Riff on. Finally, out of nowhere, modern progressive godfathers Wolverine are dropping a very unique collection of four songs. This collection of new songs is being packaged as a concept and is being released as a short film. A Darkened Sun was produced by the band and directed by bassist Thomas Janssen. The film has a sort of Mr. Robot feel, and while the story is a bit abstract, it looks great and is edited nicely to the amazing music on offer. I think it's pretty awesome that Wolverine are giving their fans both new music and a cool short film to go with it. Those are our top five picks from this week. Pro tip, last Monday, Dario interviewed Jacko Jackcheck, the singer of King Crimson, to talk about his solo album, Secrets and Lies. And yesterday on the regular podcast, Dario also interviewed Reina Stolt from the Flower Kings to talk about their new album, Islands. If you like this new format, please sure and give us a rating and a review wherever you're listening to this podcast. New episodes of the regular podcast drop Monday and Thursday, this show on Fridays. For written reviews and interviews, check out theprogspace.com. This has been the Progcast Friday Top 5. I've been Randy Salo. You guys have been awesome. See you next Friday, Prog fans.